Triple E EDC back here again with another knife video. This is the Berg Blades Iron Wolf. Uh, this is not what the video is about, but I wanted to go ahead and put up one of my favorite uh, knives, one of my grails, I should say, that I've had for a while. And I just wanted to put this here because the subject of this video is grails, new grails. And I have a couple of them all at once, which <laughs> is really exciting, actually. Uh, I did a bunch of trades all at once, just a flurry of activity. It's why you haven't seen me for a little bit. And I had, as I had some outgoing knives, I posted some of those that, that were outgoing. And here's what I got in return. And I'm just, I'm, I'm so pumped. So a couple of grails. So this is the Chavez 229. This is the group knife. So you see this design right here is only available on the 2019. Uh, Chavez Knife Group 2019 CKG. It's only available on that group and so this is something that I had to trade because I was not a member of the group at the time. Now I'm a member of the group but uh, so I'll be looking for the 2020 knife when it drops. But this and that should tell you a little bit that I'm very satisfied with getting this. Uh, I was a little concerned about the pocket clip, the famous Chavez pocket clip and the truth is is uh, it's a great pocket clip. I have really very few issues with it, and it's not as bad to wear in an office as I thought it would be. Uh, I also want to apologize for the lighting, guys. Um, it's a little bit dark down here. It's 2 a.m. where I'm at, and so the you know I've got my iPhone camera on and the uh, the light from that camera. So I do apologize, but uh, hopefully we can do this video anyway. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm super pumped about this. The action on this is really fantastic. I mean, you see, I didn't even try to close it. And, I mean, once you get past that detent, butter. Straight butter. And that's going to be true for just about all of these grails that I got here. So let's put this up in the corner over here. We'll bring it back later. We've got this very nice uh, custom semi-custom VDK Impaler. Got the compound grind here. I think this is like a stone wash finish. Th this anodization is uh, only available on a select few knives. So you'll see these are serialized. This is 158. That's, that's the blade is 158. And I believe this is number 10 of the this anodization. So it is a uh, limited, very, very limited run on this particular one. And this, the action on this is just, again, I mean, it, this is fall shut. <laughs> and, you know, there's no blade play here. Solid. So, again, just fall shut action. Fantastic. Got a nice choil here. Really solid grip on this thing. Just a great knife. Had to get a hinderer. This is the XM18 with the Warthog G10 scales. This is the Skinner version. This is a Gen 4, I believe. Um, it's, it's either Gen 4 or Gen 5, I'm not entirely sure, but it's definitely not a Gen 6. Uh, this is, the, like I said, the Skinner Blade DLC coated. There is some rub on this, but I was planning on using this as a user, so I'm totally fine with that. Uh, the, it's got the, I believe this is the stonewash finish. I don't think this is the working finish on the back, but, um, very, very nice finish on it. Uh, you hinderer guys, you can correct me in the comments if this, if this indeed is the working finish, but I think it's the stonewash finish. And, uh, again, that, that G10 Warthog scale. For those of you who don't know, uh, Warthogs were, uh, the Warthog refers to painting that was on the front of aircrafts. People did this for uh, for morale and also, you know, it was just scary as hell seeing an air, airplane with a nose looking like this coming at you ready to bomb you. Uh, that was back in, you know, World War II, Korean War. Um, I, I believe it was actually more like Korean War. And then in the 70s, I think it was the 70s, they changed uh, to be more camouflage, you know, colors that are in, inconspicuous against the sky. They no longer did this. So... But this is just a great throwback, and I mean, it's just a really cool design. Perfect in the hand. The action on this is great, even though this is on 
I think this is on Phosphor Browns washers. I don't think this is on the original Teflon washers, but the action's pretty good on this. It's not completely drop shut, but it, it's really smooth. And we got a big boy, XM24. And for those of you who don't know how big that is, here it is against the XM18. That thing is massive. And this is a Gen 6. So you can see the triway. That, that symbol means triway. And the triway pivot means that it's changeable with bearings and Foster Browns washers and Teflon washers. Uh, and I, it looks like there's some steel washers or something that's included in the package too. But you can see this, the action on this is just drops. Just drops. And this is not the original scale. This is a uh, textured titanium scale. I don't think I've seen this pattern before. It might even be a custom or semi-custom uh, pattern on the scale. But, you know, this is the uh, Spanto blade. Uh, Spanto is a... Sp or Spanto, I don't know exactly how you say it, but it's a uh, spear point and a tanto or a tanto blade that is a combination of the two. So it's not completely tanto and it's not completely spear point. It's a little bit of a combination. And this thing is just so smooth, ridiculously smooth. It is a big boy. It's a thick boy too. I mean, this thing is not messing around size wise. I wouldn't be surprised if it compared favorably to a Medford. Then we got another one here. Full track. Hinder full track, but not just any full track. This is the Battlefield Pickup full track. And this is serialized. Battlefield Pickup BPU 112. Again, triway pivot right there. So that is Gen 6. Great action on this. Just smooth. And this is on bearings as well. I have not put any lube on these bearings. Just fantastic. And you can see the the detailing on here. Battlefield pickup is sort of... It's meant to be something that was picked up off the battlefield. So it's antiqued. You see the, uh, the dimpling and the patterns over here. The... Uh, the rub that occurs over here, that's intentional. And it's sort of like artistry. You can see the same thing on the pocket clip here. Again, intentional. The, the wear pattern on the blade, now obviously this is a, it's not a, a real wear pattern. I don't think it's real wear. I think it's a design on the blade, but it is, uh, it's just beautiful. This is fantastic. And I also picked up a, a green G10 scale for this. I think I like the black better, so I've got I've got it rocking on it, and that's the one it came with. But uh, the green also looks great on here as well. Might have to get some more Battlefield pickup stuff. So that is going to be your lineup of grails that I was able to get. Sorry for the foot appearing here. It's just easier to do with this. Again, sorry for the lighting. It's amateur hour here, but we're uh, it's 2 a.m., so we're making do. I'm just and I'm just overjoyed with these. I'm I'm not going to do another take on this. Uh, but go ahead and uh, like like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Uh, I'm planning on doing some reviews of these, maybe some comparisons between these two, uh, or maybe comparisons between these three, and. Also, I'm going to be doing some uh, re reviews, not just on these, but on some other knives coming up. So, as by way of a little bit of a channel update, uh, I'm going to be doing a, a bunch more reviews recently. Um, one other knife that I did get that wasn't really a grail, but it is something that I should mention on this video before I go, is the St. Nick's Shaman in 4V. Now I'm going to move these out of the way real quick. Um, I wasn't planning on discussing this in this video, but I may as well go ahead and do it because it was one of the knives that I got recently. And I was very pumped to get this. Uh, it, there, again, there was only a couple made, 
but you saw right there one of the issues that I've had with it. And it's the same issue that I had with my Shaman in uh, S90V in carbon fiber. Now this thing drops freely. I mean, this thing really drops freely now. No problem. But when I got it, it was extremely stiff, just like this. I mean, you can see it's not even budging. And this is really stiff right now. So I'm going to work this out a little bit. I'm not even going to carry it right now. I'm just going to work it out, see if it, if it stiffens, if the stiffness goes away. If it does, I may end up carrying it. I will see. Um, I know some of these are going for uh, decent prices online. And depending on where my needs end up, especially considering how much I'm enjoying all these hinderers uh, and how much I want to get into some CRKs, uh, I may or may not let this thing go. So we'll see. Um, but again, that's just one, one other knife that you can see. Again, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, all this content is going to be coming up. And uh, thank you again for watching.